hello everyone. Hello and welcome back from Alessandro. And Abe. Um, with a new episode, what are we going to talk today, Abe? Uh, li- lines and shapes. Lines and shapes, like, sounds very cool. Straight so, lines, curved lines. Yeah, we have talked already about circles and rectangles in some mm. previous episodes, but in this one we want to concentrate on uh, line segment and contours and things like this. Right. Okay? Yeah. So let's start with maybe introducing our friend line segment. Uh, let's see, ex- <coughs> we're going to create here... Uh, I'm going to call it L, mm-hmm. a line segment. Which is what most probably the name is, is <laughs> suggesting, is yeah. a segment between two points. Basically. Exactly. Okay. And here we could either throw two vector two or just uh, some x, y, x, y values. Mm-hmm. So I'll just put some numbers so we can see something. Mm-hmm. And then oh, now we have constructed a line segment, but mm-hmm. we, we have to draw it. Mm-hmm. So uh, remember, how do we draw things? We give comments to the drawer object, and we have in particular a comment called line segment to draw mm-hmm. line segments. Right. So you can see here we have x and x, y, x, y. And if I change one of these numbers, then we can modify how it looks like. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's a bit boring to have just one line, too. We should have some friends. Exactly. We should have many, and we will resort to something we have talked a lot already, uh, namely collections. True. Uh, how many? Let's add. Let's start with 50. 50. 50 mm-hmm. lines. Um, Do we want to randomize starting and ending point for yeah. each of them? Yeah. So we can show also how to define like sem- line segments using vectors instead of x, y coordinates. Uh, I was thinking of, yeah, we have um, lines that are going to start on the left border of the screen and, okay. and yeah. touching the right border of the screen. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, we don't really need vectors. Um, for these, yeah, yeah, you can, uh, it's a bit shorter. Yeah. So, a uh, zero here means the left border. This is width, this is the right border. Mm-hmm. Uh, now well, we why to, di- to double? Uh, because Just width, yeah. Yeah, width is an integer. Mm-hmm. And otherwise, it will complain mm-hmm. that it says here require double found int. Yes. So the, we have this uh, two double method that does it in a sort of a legible and elegant way. Yeah. Otherwise, you can just uh, the hacker way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Good. Good. And then I was gonna add here a random position mm-hmm. somewhere between the top and the bottom. Mm-hmm. So that would be here height. If we use the same hacker way, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I will do the same. Well, first I'm going to save this, and then I will adjust the other. So now we have a lines as a list of mm-hmm. line segments. So we need to change. Yes, and what I mean, like the drawer dot line segment, we can see it's a single line segment. Can mm-hmm. we pass multiple line segments? We have to add an S. Yes. Line segments, and then we have a lot of lines that yeah. start somewhere randomly. On the left, and they, they end at the same point. Yeah, they end, at in okay. end up in the same point. But I'm going to copy this part here, so they also end somewhere somewhere random on the right. Oh, did we? Ah, I pressed oh. the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I pressed the yeah the run program. Okay, so let's let's also maybe show this. Suppose I want to have uh, a different thickness for each line. Uh-huh. What would I do? For different thicknesses, then we cannot draw them all at once. Exactly, but we have to iterate through mm-hmm. the lines, lines, and we do for, with each. A, for each. And then we could do drawer line segment it mm-hmm. to draw just one of them. But now we are able to control the thickness of each. Exactly. Let's 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 make it uh, change with. Uh, Ah, let's do this. Let's make it change it with the index in the collection. So we do a for each indexed. Indexed. And yeah, the wha- <laughs> I yeah. think the reason you're doing that is because if, if we if would use random, it's going to all exactly. flicker. Exactly, it's going to be flicker. <laughs> uh, I will show that yeah. uh, just slightly to yeah. not, make it, not make it too straight. And uh, just a reminder, uh, everything that is um, uh, calculated inside the extend 
uh, function, it's calculated each frame. Yeah. So basically, you are generating random numbers at each frames. Yeah. That's why you have we have this effect. So okay. you can see now flickering, mm. but I don't want it to flicker. Yeah. So we need some form of persistence, right? And yeah. now we are exploiting that the index is something that doesn't change mm -hmm. in the collection over time. So we can use that. To uh, I'm going to call it I for index and it for mm -hmm. the... Uh, or I could call it L for line. Mm -hmm. But now what I want to do is to make the stroke weight depend on the index. Mm -hmm. So I could say it's 1.0 plus... Exponentially dependent, maybe? Well, I thought this was... Ah, <laughs> just, okay, <laughs> simple cool, hack, cool. Like yes, yes, yes. Uh, now we have five different widths. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 1.0. Two, three, four, five, until five, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And so we have some thinner lines and some thicker mm -hmm. lines. Nice. The arrangement nice. is a bit unexpected. Why is there these lines on the... Let me think. We, this is... Ah, I did it wrong. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go actually to the width here. And the height was the ah, vertical position. Okay. This is what I wanted. This is what you wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Great. So this is a random distribution of lines. Mm -hmm. um, what if we make them uh, like add many lines initially horizontal? Mm -hmm. So we cover the whole screen with uh, horizontal lines. Yes. How would we do that? I'm going to calculate the a t value, mm -hmm. which would be the current index divided by 49, for example. Mm -hmm. So now this number will be between mm -hmm. 0 and 1. Mm -hmm. And now we can easily multiply the height times t. Mm -hmm. I'll save it so <laughs> uh, maybe you can already appreciate that hor on the left side... Everything is like in order, basically. Yeah. But on the, on the other, other side, there is the randomness yeah. plane. And if we do the same factor. thing on the other side... Yes. Ah, I I think I don't know if I keep pressing by uh, my I have uh, this automatic finger <laughs> that mm -hmm. presses the the run button. Oh, I'm missing here, uh, or maybe I did make a crash. Okay, so yeah. now they are horizontal, mm. and we can see the thickness increases up to five, and then starts again. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, yes, pattern. that's that's really nice. I'm gonna make it more extreme, up to mm. ten. So, what, what if we do something that I also like to mm -hmm. do? Let's let's show how we can randomize shuffle elements in a collection. Uh -huh. We take lines, we shuffle it, uh -huh. and then we display it so that it's not these. That's too much too much structure for me at the moment. Okay. But if we shuffle the order of the lines, it's not gonna affect the. That's correct the because the, because the index is gonna be the same. That's correct. But what we could do, we could make uh, probably... No, that's... Ah, and you wanted to randomize the, width, the widths? Yeah. Or? Ah. Yeah, yeah. We can use the seed of the random. The seed of the... Ra ah, right. Like if right. I would do this... And yeah, yeah, and then, and, and then fix the seed. So, well, if I now save, <laughs> it's going to flicker like crazy. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do is set here random seed mm -hmm. is the good one. <laughs> yes, you have to pass a string to yeah. fix the seed. Yeah. And now okay, the Okay, now the I already like random. it a bit more. It's a bit more <laughs> interesting yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, line segment has a lot of methods. Mm -hmm. uh, if I control click on it, we can explore a bit what there is for us there. Mm -hmm. And you can see that you can get the query, the direction, mm -hmm. the normal, mm -hmm. uh, nearest point. Mm -hmm. So, so I suggest I suggest these mm -hmm. as a bit of a, a magic thing. Yeah. We introduce a new segment that goes from the top to the bottom. Okay. And we make we keep track of the intersection of this segment with all the other ones. Okay. Okay. As just to show one of these uh, nice yeah. feature mm -hmm. features that we can we have with light segments. I'm gonna call it cutter. Yes. <laughs> and this is gonna be a line segment. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, somewhere, we can even fix it, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. 20 and 0, so it's at the top border of the screen. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be 400 and height. Mm -hmm. So now we have the cutter and we can draw it. 
uh, that we're going to be... Drew it, draw it red, maybe, or yeah. some other color? Uh, let's make it red. Drawer stroke red. And yes, there is exactly. our cutter line. And it would be so nice if we could compute the intersection of y these yeah. with all the other lines. What should we put in the intersection? Like circles? Let's put a circle. Uh -huh. Yes. So... Um, a white circle at the intersection. Positions is mm -hmm. going to be lines, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to map those lines. Uh, now we want to find... So see, now the eth variable has mm -hmm. one of the lines. Mm -hmm. And we want to find the intersection. How do we I find I think it's intersections. It's a function itself, if I'm not wrong. and allows you to pass two line segments, right? I want to see, because we saw it at the bottom of the yes. file. There was here uh, intersection. Yeah. And then we pass two lines. Exactly. So intersection. So this is a heavy overloaded function because <laughs> you, you will see later that there are other type of objects. That mm -hmm. Import. Which one do we want? Uh, uh, the first one, the over render one. Maybe. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. So you can see now that positions is a list of vector two. So Which is those are nice. the intersections. Mm -hmm. Now we could add white circles. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We can access now the positions with the index of ah. Okay. So you're putting it outside uh, for each index. Perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Let's put a white circle there. And uh, drawer fill is white. And no stroke, please. <laughs> <laughs> drawer <laughs> stroke is gone. Null. Null. Okay, let's see. Right. And this, uh, those are the intersections between yeah, the cutter line and all the others. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think to, to conclude this episode, we could do this dynamic. So mm -hmm. let's take this part and move it to the extend, uh -huh. right? And we make the cutter uh, oscillate the, uh, yeah. the top and the bottom yeah. just to see that the intersection move to with the To see that this is actually not a trick, but it's real. Is <laughs> 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 okay, uh, the cutter, where do we use the cutter? We use here. Yeah. I'm going to move this so you, together. Exactly. And, and this That's two. the only thing we need to be updated mm -hmm. in the extend position. So now on every frame, we will make a new cutter line, mm -hmm. uh, the X is going to change. This right, X and the right. X. let's make them like oscillate, like 20Z dot zero plus sine or cosine of uh, mm. seconds, maybe? Or wait, let, me th let me think. I'll add first the sign. sine. Sine mm -hmm. of seconds times five. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to import this mm -hmm. function from Kotlin, not from the others. Mm -hmm. um, and so now this is a number between plus one and minus one. Mm -hmm. If I multiply by 0 0.5 mm -hmm. and at 0.5, now mm -hmm. we have a number between zero and one. Mm -hmm. So now we could say that this here is x zero times width. All right. So this will go from zero to width, basically. Ah, uh, yes. A bit too fast. Uh, you can see that it's working. I'll just use seconds. Yeah. And I could move also the other side just for bonus points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> X1. Uh, and I can just add... Like out of phase. Like an offset. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll do now the same thing here. Oops. Uh, that's going to be X1 mm -hmm. times width. And that's it. And, now and so see. we can see that the intersection are uh, computed dynamically between these line segments. There are a lot of other properties about uh, line segments. These yeah. are just, it's not even the surface of the iceberg. <laughs> no. It's just like uh, flying yeah. over, <laughs> over, the, over the, the iceberg. Um, but yeah, like we encourage you to go and check all of these properties. And some of, more of these we will explore in... Uh, later episodes yeah but for now it's everything i th <laughs> we hope to see you in the next one see you in the next one see you